What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and welcome back to another versus slash story time video. In this video, we are going to talk about, well, the Kimari Lost Chapter Challenge Quest. Now, before we do start this video, first of all, I would like to apologize for the video quality. I actually used the Bluestacks in in software recording, like, uh, it's the first time I, well, it's not actually the first time I used this, but I felt like it's a little bit blurry. I didn't notice it before. I, I think I recorded something in there once as well. It would have probably been uh, one of the, uh, an older video in the last few weeks, but um, I didn't notice it was like a little bit blurry. I feel like it's a little bit blurry. Let me know down in the comments below if it is. Uh, but in the meantime, until I can sort of, you know, uh, tell that it is blurry, I probably will be sticking with, uh, you know, another software in terms of screen recording, especially if I'm using an emulator. Uh, you, you'll notice when I use an emulator that the screen is a little bit bigger and then it's not like flat. So... Uh, or wider screen so if I use if you see wider screen I've recorded on my phone and if you see something like this it, it's it, it means I've been recording in a um, emulator but in any case uh, again before we do start one more time uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already it does help the channel and without further ado let's start this video so let's start the this video off of obviously with the first wave with the mother seed or motherly seed I can't remember the name but um, for now we'll just call it the mother seed <laughs> that's all I can remember the mother and the seed um, so this fight I mean we've fought this uh, boss quite a few times already I do think you need to target the um, the main boss other than the seedlings the seedlings themselves are shouldn't be too much of an issue They don't have a lot of HP. The main problem is if you actually don't have uh, high percentage damage in this one, so Basically the mother seed will just keep on respawning those ads eventually so I I don't know the exact time but for some reason in my two attempts obviously in the chaoses uh it actually summoned them the seedlings during an all attack with the prickly spine or something like that so i do feel like that's the time it will resummon those so if you, they're prickly pummel i think it was if you can kill obviously the mother seed before this that is the most ideal uh, situation however if it does summon the seedlings once again I don't think it should be an issue I think if you're seeing it like happen twice and that means your damage per turn isn't that great so or something went wrong uh, in my in my situation it really just responded once right um, and after that never really had any issues and for the second wave i mean the biggest thing is managing that rechargeability uh i wouldn't suggest taking two of that at the same time if you can sort of like get hit once and make sure yuna is up the next turn and you or at least she's within those turns then you can heal yourself with cheer it's not the biggest heal, however, it does have survivability for you. Uh, I did eat this twice and Kimari ended up dying, I think, at that time. Uh, I probably... No, that wasn't a regular chaos. I didn't use Kimari, I used Noel. So, during that time, Noel died. But if you do have Kimari built up with his HP, you know, HP guard... Um, I still wouldn't highly suggest taking those hits twice in a row, but you will be able to survive that if you're using Kimari. If you're using Noel, and when without Kimari, do, do not eat those end balls twice. So that is the biggest thing I try to avoid here. And of course, if you can save Kimari's um, EX ability as well during those end balls, 
if you are using Kimari, that is going to help you. You do not need to keep using Nova all the time or whenever it's up. You can save it for the times that they are going to use end ball or if they're going to do an all attack. In my experience, they didn't really do any HP damage apart from the end ball. Um, other than that, obviously, I, I kept them broken. But if they are like, you know, they do have the brave to unload, they will kill your characters. So that was that. That's the biggest thing. It's whether you use Kimari or not. Um, it and obviously Yuna is just there to get rid of all the debuffs and um, heal you through it. I mean, I wouldn't highly. I would highly suggest getting using Arden on this one as well. Uh, I wouldn't use the the real trio, which is going to be Noel, Kimari, and Yuna. Uh, it's just going to make it harder for yourself. So having Arden, if you have his LD, um, definitely going to help. Don't need his burst, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, a lot of management here in terms of re like healing, removing the debuffs. Um, I think Kimari is obviously... The biggest factor well the second biggest factor apart from arden because i feel like his hp guard is definitely uh, worth um bringing him along uh noel i think is the odd one out in this one so uh but that's just how i feel now uh story time that <laughs> that i mean that's all i can tell you about this fight if i did miss anything you can leave down in the comments below but let's talk about story time i want to talk to you guys about my pools I, I know i didn't make a pool video um because i wasn't really expecting to pull on kimari i ended up just using the free multi and guess what i got you can type in the comments below pause this video well finish all right so <laughs> I ended up getting Arden's burst again in the Kimari 15 CP. Um, I can put the put the picture here really quickly, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I don't. I actually don't have Kimari's 15 CP powered up. I don't have his 35 CP, and I don't have his EX, and obviously I don't have his LD. So I ended up pulling a few tickets. I think about 20 tickets in, I managed to get his EX. And then I chased for his 35 for another 20 to 30 tickets, which I shouldn't have done. I, I think I should have just quit while I was ahead and, you know, just end up buying his 35 CP weapon in the weapons token market. Um, but I thought to myself, you know what, I'll, I'll chase for the 35. Maybe I'll get the LD as well. And obviously that didn't turn out really well because I never got his LD but I mean he still worked in this lost chapter despite not having EX plus at all my Kimari is just fully limit break EX so I mean you actually really don't need his LD nor you do need to like invest on his EX plus as well in order to beat this fight you just have to have Arden that's all <laughs> So, uh, mechanically, it's like the fight is built for Kimari. He doesn't need to do a lot of damage. It, I mean, with his rework, it kind of worked out anyway. He did a decent amount of damage, um, you know. But overall, I kept him because of his Nova for the end balls. And of course, his HP guard is very useful as well. So, that's it for the story time. Um, since I didn't make a video, I honestly should have probably just made a video but for my pulls anyway because I tend to pull like more than I sh should but that's just me uh, I mean that's the kind of person I am I like pulling and taking my chances um, sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't I mean that's the gacha life right but yeah uh, I think I'll end the video right here guys please do remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help the channel Really do appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Uh, we're still trying to get to that at least um, 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It doesn't look like it's becoming going to be any anything real or in reality. 
but if we can get any closer, I mean, I wouldn't mind even just hitting the 3,000 3, subscriber at this point because we are running out of time. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. Uh, as always, leave down in the comments below what you think of this fight. And if you have any stories about your pull video or, I mean, your pulls, leave them down in the comments below here as well since I didn't make any pull video this time around. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at Munchkins Gaming. This is Munchkins logging off. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys next level.